kind of still things blown up. Hey everybody, it's Chris here with Bernice of the Rockies. Trying to get everything kind of set up here. It looks kind of little blown out, I swear. I look like way overdone here. Of course, uh, in our little film studio here. So let me try the light here. Oh, now I look like I'm in a scary movie. Let's see if we go farther away, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully it works okay for everybody. I mean, I don't know what you think. Um, if anybody's watching, can I get a thumbs up at least if my audio is working? So if you can hear me okay, I don't want to be too too loud or too soft or anything weird. Um, man, I seem super overexposed. Sometimes these live videos just don't work the best sometimes. Okay, well, now at least I don't seem super exposed, but it's a little dark, but, uh, <laughs> hey, it's live, right? We're just trying to have a good time. So anyways, I'm Chris with Bernice of the Rockies. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today, and uh, I'll try to fiddle around with this a little bit. Um, I don't know, you know? You know, live videos are always crazy because, like, when you're, if you're a photographer yourself, you know that, you know, in post-production, you know, you can fix things, things like that. With live, you're just at the mercy of your camera and frame rates and things like that. So, if we have thumbs up, I guess, on the, uh, on, on the audio, I super appreciate that. It looks like there might be a lag, possibly. I don't know if it looks like it's frozen. I don't know. Hopefully, it's catching up here. So... Anyways, uh, it's Chris here with Bernie's Rockies, and this is Burner Fan Friday. So I appreciate you so much for being here. It um, really means a lot to me. So I'm going to just check this real quick just to make sure if it is frozen. screen at least I got screen so I have my monitor in one I had live session the other one I don't know if I'm I'm live still so uh, hopefully we'll just run with it. anyways McCain dogs I super appreciate you being here uh, it means a lot to me you guys are awesome great videos um, so typically you know this is my film this is my office so you know kind of behind the scenes you know this is just like a background paper and stuff you know we try to make it good so anyways real quick uh, this video is not sponsored or anything like that but a lot of people have been asking us about how our puppies are so healthy, how you know we are, are so blessed to have healthy, quality puppies all the time. And our biggest secret is we use products from, from uh, Revival Animal Health. And you can go to their website, revivalanimal.com. And this is where we get you know all of our products for our puppies. And again, this is not sponsored or nothing, but I do truly from my heart believe in uh, you know sharing stuff with you guys. And so, you know they're, they're amazing and what's great too is even if you don't go there to necessarily buy something their educational stuff to teach you about dogs is phenomenal I mean you could learn so many things and it's really great and so uh, if you uh, you know are if you're interested in learning about you know dogs health like you know uh, dr. B is there he talks about you know dog toys and what's good and different things like this also you know if you have uh, any kind of issues with like you know parasites and just just great just dog health stuff they have amazing resources so anyways I know you're not here for me you're not here to listen to me talk you want to see some puppies so let me get a puppy for you here and can you just check to okay so why my wife's destiny she's in the background here so she's kind of helping me with the comments and things like that so uh, feel free to ask questions so first one's up here we got a little tug tug uh, we're here in Colorado and it's been cold lately and so tug here is a uh, sporting a, a nice uh, scarf uh, for the Christmas holiday season and <laughs> he loves he loves a, a nice winter time so I'll kind of bring him in here a little bit kind of see say hi everybody say hello so anyways a few things to kind of notice and I want people to kind of to know so the puppies are four are, are becoming four weeks old and so I'll, I'll kind of get a little closer here for you guys I know like you know like in these live videos it's, it's hard to like you know get stuff exactly right so um, at four weeks old is when we have people start coming to look at puppies because for us you know we have uh, you know our newborn puppies 
And, you know, to be honest, and you know, again, I'm here for education. If you have a breeder, you know, to tell you, hey, you have to pick out a puppy on day one, I mean, kind of, I wouldn't go with that. So if you've been watching over the last few weeks, of course, uh, you know, he is, uh, you know, he's grown a lot, you know. So now at four weeks old, you can see his markings a little better. You can see his personality. You can see his temperament. Huh. So I don't know what to do with all these lights and stuff. Crazy, huh? Um, but it's one of those things where he uh, he's changed a lot. And so for at week four, why we chose week four is, you know, say somebody was to bring in Parvo or something like that. It gives us an opportunity where their immune system's, you know, higher, plus their eyes are open, their, you know, they're walking and they're playing and uh, things like that. So his, his nose is pretty much all black now. And his eyes are still a little blue. If I put him in the frame here, it's like the horrible like amateur video here. Uh, you but you're, when you hold him like that, it's like the Lion King. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like it's like Simba here. Oh, I, I don't know what they say. I really not that good at that stuff. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, so yeah, so I mean, again, I just from my heart, truly, I just telling you guys, you know, I mean, you know. When you're looking for a quality puppy, if you can see them when they're active and when they're doing things, I know that he's, you know, I mean, I'm holding him right now, but, uh, you know, I mean, he's got great markings. And if you've been watching the Facebook live videos and stuff too, um, man, I'm like horrible. I can't get in frame on anything here. Um, but he, uh, he's changed a lot, you know? And so if, <laughs> if you get you guys like motion sickness, I just can't, it's like hard to watch everything at the same time. But, um, you know, like you can see the white on his muzzle, okay? And so if you were showing him, they would want the white evenly on each side of the muzzle. And so, you know, he's just a great family dog. You know, he's just a cool guy. We'll just kind of keep him close here because... <laughs> Again, guys, these are just live videos. We're just trying to be transparent as a breeder and kind of just show you, you know, things. And and uh, he's a cool dude. So let's, let's, uh, let's get him naked here, so... Yeah, you probably don't want to wear this. Yeah, okay. So, anyways, okay. And like I've said this before in other videos, like my most like worst fear is dropping a puppy live, like for the whole internet to see. So I'm like double-handed here. So, anyways, you know, Tug here is turning four weeks old. So again, with the ability to you know have families come at four weeks old to meet us, meet you know the parents, and meet the dogs and everything. You know, they're moving, they're active. You know, when they're one day old, I mean, they have white on them. But if you go back and watch some of the few videos from when they've been young, uh, you know, when they're younger, uh, it's one of those things where, you know, they've they've changed a whole lot. And every single week, even when they go home, they'll change a lot. When they're two years old, they'll still look different, you know. So, so anyways, Tug is turning four weeks old. And, uh, you know, his ears are developed, his eyes are, you know, they're actually kind of got a blue tint. You may not see, we'll kind of do an extreme close-up here. But, um, so his eyes are blue, but they'll turn colors. We'll kind of, huh, say hi, everybody. And, yeah, he'll keep growing. So his nose is black now. So it's one of those things where they, they're pink and then they, you know, they turn black. Yeah. So kind of things with him, too, you know, so he has the white tip tail. He's got white on his back feet. You know, his front feet's got a couple little dabs of white, but you know, for the most part, they're dark. But yeah, so Tug is four weeks old and he's floating in around seven pounds. So again, you know, this is a great time. So if you're working with a breeder and you have the opportunity to um, see the puppies at four weeks old or um, in person is a big deal. So I know the Bernese Mound Dogs are very hard to find. And, and granted, like this litter, for example, I had over a thousand people contact me for a puppy and we had two, we were blessed with two puppies and we don't take deposits early. And I know I preach about this a lot and we just kind of go against the grain because for us, we want to make sure the puppies are healthy. Mom's doing good. The puppies are all good. Everything's, you know, great. And then, you know, we worry about that stuff later because for us, their health is the number one priority to us. And again, uh, this this is not a sponsored video, but th we use you know our products from RevivalAnimal.com, and they have uh, I mean I can call them just ask them questions and they're so great so knowledgeable and their webinars and stuff are top notch I mean so if you're if you're a dog breeder or a groomer or somebody I mean we you, they have amazing products so again 
Great stuff. See, he's getting tired. He doesn't want to hear me talk either. So, so this is Tug. One last shot here. Well, maybe last shot. We'll see. Four weeks old. Here's a little Tug. Yep. Gonna look like his daddy. So let me swap them off. And there you can type too. If you have okay. And uh, of course, we can't dress one up without the other one. Huh. Got your little hat on. I don't even know what you call it. It looks like a golfer's hat. So. <laughs> huh. We have like a little elf one, but like the ears are so big, they don't sit on there very good. Like you would think this is the first video I ever did. Like it's like all over the place. So this is Willow. So kind of some of the differences. So you notice her white is evenly on, on both sides of the muzzle. I mean, she, if I get in frame here. Uh, so she's exactly more of, you know, what a show kind of dog would be. Here, we'll take this off. See, I'm not a Barbie doll, huh? So I got some furry hair now. Uh, let's see if I can ever get you in the frame here. So anyways, she's four weeks old as well. She got some crazy nose hair there going on. It's like some crazy stuff. But her nose is black as well. Huh. Say hi, everybody. You gonna give a puppy kiss? Oh, puppy kiss, huh? Here, tell them. Autumn's asking where we got that scarf and stuff. We got it at uh, Petco. Okay, right uh, so my wife's saying that Autumn's asking about um, where we got the scarf and stuff here. And so we got it at Petco. <laughs> and where was that here? And actually, it might have been for. They care of cats. For cats, maybe. But th since they're small. And we got a super big treat for you here, guys, in, in a couple weeks. We got a, a little outfit for them to wear. But um, so anyways, yeah. So, I mean, you know, they're, they're four weeks old. You know, they're brothers and sister. And, of course, it's one of those things where, um, you know, they're a, little, they're a little hot with all the lights and stuff, huh? It's okay. We just got a couple minutes, huh? So, yeah, so their nose are all black now. You can see her markings. So, again, you know, white tip tail. You know, white on her feet. And uh, yeah, so here, let me uh, grab him real quick. Okay. So try to get in here. So again, sorry for any kind of audio thing. I don't have a wireless mic, but so anyways, so here's both of them. We can, there we go. Get my ugly mug out of the face out of the thing here, but let's see if I can get anybody sick with all the motion here. So yeah, so I mean almost identical, just you know little little bitty things, you know. But it's 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 one of those things where, you know, I'm sure you guys have been seeing them grow, you know, on Facebook and YouTube and stuff, and uh, yeah, very precious and very very good and stuff, you know. And so, you know, I really appreciate everybody who have been watching these videos because for me. Being a reputable breeder means being transparent, you know, so I want to be able to show, you know, our puppies because we really don't have very many very often, you know, typically, you know, we have one or two litters in an entire year. So it's not per month, it's not anything weird like that. And it's one of those things where, you know, you won't find, um, you know, we don't do burner doodles and things like that. So, uh, you want to take them back? It's okay. So it's one of those things where for us, you know, we truly care about the quality of our dogs and stuff, you know, so we really want to be able to, um, you know, show you guys because, you know, we're not trying to raise the bar or set the bar or anything like that, but say, you know, you're looking to adopt a puppy someday from somebody, we want to be able to at least give you an idea of what to expect. So again, here in January, we're we'll coming out with our burner school, where we're going to teach you about, um, how to, you know, to sum it up and just being like, you know, if we're talking at a coffee shop, um, to not get burned by a puppy mill. And I know that's kind of harsh and things like that, but I want to teach you things like, you know, what are certifications on dogs? You know, what, um, you know, what are things to look for? If a breeder says, hey, you know, you need to pay a deposit, you know, what happens if the breeder takes, you know, 15 deposits and, you know, like me, like I was blessed with two puppies. What happens to your deposit then? But also too, like when your puppy's ready to come home, Okay, what do you do uh, with your with your dogs then? And you know, one of the people watching this video is McCain Dogs, and they're an amazing dog training place. And so, if you have a chance, uh, you know, if you see them in the comments, or if you go to YouTube and you type in McCain, I believe it's M C C A N N McCain Dogs. Check them out. Super great people. Um, you know, great videos. They do great live videos, and they have an amazing agility course. I mean, it's like insane off the wall. 
So if you're into learning about dog training and stuff, they have some great programs, different videos, you can check them out, very cool. Um, but it's one of those things where, you know, we want to teach people about puppy proofing your home, you know, I mean, they'll chew on electrical cords, they'll chew on different things. And so, you know, definitely a course. So if you're interested in learning about Bernese Mountain Dogs, maybe adopting one, uh, I, trust me, I, I know what it's like to be on both sides of the coin. And so I definitely want to help you out. So um, real quick before we let you go, we had our secret Santa, um, secret dog Santa, sorry. Um, we had our secret dog Santa on and we we're posting stuff on Facebook. And so if you participated, we super appreciate that. It's been a lot of fun. And just real quick here, let me see if we have any guests outside here. Aspen, come on. Okay. This is a little. Oh. That's our puppy. She this is Aspen born. here. Um, so this is the mom. She's about 120 pounds. And no, I'm not a bodybuilder. Uh, my legs are pretty weak. But uh, so this is the mom. I'm sure the the microphone is getting snuffed out. Do you want to say hi? Say hi. Hello, ya. Oh, okay, I gotta go get drink some water. Anyways, uh, thank you again for everybody for watching. Super appreciate it. Um, it means a lot to me. So, if you have not been to this YouTube channel, if you're coming from Instagram, you know, or Facebook or something, please subscribe to this channel. Super appreciate it. And, uh, you know, of course, if you're looking to adopt a Bernese Mountain Dog, uh, sorry, Whew, out of breath. So, uh, hold on, Priscilla's asking, like, if they, um, oh, one girl, like, quick. will the puppies end up like the same? Um, Wait, is like the oh yeah, absolutely. So uh, you know, River. Um, maybe next week I'll bring River in, just because the dad. You know, so he gets a little bit of uh, camera time too. Uh, you know, he he's a he's about 130 pounds. Mom's 120, and you know, of course, he's still growing, things like that. You know, and so it's one of those things where I would say typically they take after genetics. Now, granted, you could have you can overfeed your dog. I mean, I've had people contact me a year old and they say, Chris. You know, my dog is, you know, a hundred pounds already, but their dog is overweight and obese, you know? So there's definitely a lot of things. We're gonna do some videos too about um, choosing the proper dog food and uh, things like that. And uh, uh, kind of something kind of fun too. <laughs> we live on a farm, okay? So we have 200 acres, we have like cattle and uh, things like that. And uh, we have barns and sometimes you have barn cats. Well, you know, sometimes cats have kittens and uh, sometimes they, uh, Oh, one second here. Okay, sorry. We use our iPhone, iPhone to film. So, anyways, this is uh, oh, one second here. This is Jill. Jill is a barn cat that we had here that she was pretty much on her deathbed. And uh, say hi, Jill. She get some get some camera shot in there too. So anyways, we just love animals, so. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I super appreciate it. Oh, real quick, sorry. I'm so, I'm not in this whole live thing. I'm trying to figure it all out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Super appreciate it. Hope you have a blessed day, a great Christmas things going on. And uh, we'll definitely see you next week, okay? Be blessed. We'll talk to you again.